welcome, Bomber FD here once again, and we are one week away from finally being able to play House of Wolves. And today I wanted to cover a couple more things that entailed within the Prison of Elders. Like, do we get any help while we're in there? And that's when this guy comes in, the Scorch Cannon. When this picture first came out, it's confusing because you have a heavy weapon on that guy's back and then also a cannon in his hand. Now that we see the gameplay, it makes a lot more sense. After you've completed a wave and an objective within the Prison of Elders, Varix then offers you a gift. That gift can either be heavy ammo, as shown here, very similar to the heavy ammo that you would find in the Crucible where everyone in the teammate gets a share. Knowing that, make sure you save your heavy ammo synthesis until you see what he's giving you. Now the other gift Varix gives you is the Scorch Cannon. And here we are going to see two different ways to use the Scorch Cannon. First of all, when you do pick it up, you only have an amount of 10 rockets. You can shoot them rapidly off as quickly as possible, as you see Broman's doing here. But there is no time limit. As long as you have ammo in it, you can carry it around anywhere you want. Now as you see, every time he does shoot the rocket, it explodes immediately on impact. I thought it was weird when I saw the rocket being fired by someone else. The rocket somehow delayed in firing, and they stuck and then blew up. For example, we're going to switch over to this guy that has the rocket now. And when he fires it, you're going to see it stick to this wall right here as he shoots right now. And then again you'll see it stick to this elite cabal that jumps over. It sticks to him and then blows up. And my theory on it after watching it is that there's a charge mode on the Scorch Cannon. For example, if I fired it and released the trigger immediately as I fired it, it's going to blow up on contact. But if I fire it and hold down the trigger, it will then stick when it makes contact and do more damage the longer the trigger is held. And again, these are just my observations and my thoughts based on seeing the Scorch Cannon in action. If you guys do have any thoughts, please do comment down below. I would love to hear them. I'm pretty excited to finally be able to try out this Scorch Cannon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do like as well as subscribe. And guys, as always, before I go, please do know that you are loved.